Hey guys, welcome back to Rainbow Soul. Me, Matt, on to you, the viewers. And again, I do apologise about the setup. I am still in my Airbnb, but I have got a flat and I am moving out tomorrow. Uh, I'm so excited. Hopefully, because I booked this uh, room for two weeks, because I weren't too sure how long I was going to be in there. Um, but I found it. I found a flat after five days, so hopefully I can get some money back. So. Uh, before I moved to Blackpool, I went shopping and I went to Boots and Boots have released their own brand of makeup, uh, CYO, exclusively to Boots. Uh, they have a quite large selection, but the colours in the lips and the eyes completely disappointed me because they don't match. The lips, you can get like a red lipstick, burgundy, maroon, pinks, but that's it. But eyeshadows... They, uh, they had three palettes and those were pastel colours. If you like to wear pink, then you can find a match. I don't like to wear pink. Shock, 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 I know. Uh, but yes, but other than that, the reds couldn't match. They had no red eyeshadows, they had no burgundy, no maroon, no like, brick browns. So I actually struggled with this. I will show you the colours that I ha did manage to find and like. Um, I'm talking too fast, aren't I? I'm gonna get straight into the video. So the first thing I've got is the CYO Matte and Blur Primer. Now, am I the only one who thinks uh, like primer is a myth? Does it actually work? <sighs> I've got a mirror here, but oh, that's soft. Uh, I've got a mirror here, by the way. So if you can, you see how sunburnt I am. Well, it, wow, it's more tan now. That is soft, by the way. It's like a silk feeling. Oops. So. Oh, I think I just put that on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to put prime up your nose. Ugh. So, yes, that is all in. Then, onto foundation. If you are going to pick some uh, CYO foundation for yourself, I do recommend that you go a couple of shades lighter because this oxidises like crazy. I was completely gobsmacked on how dark this actually got. Uh, this one is a 106. They're not named, but it, it was one of the lighter ones there. And I like to have like a slightly darker one to have like a foundation tan, as should they say. So... Da da da, da da da, and da da da. Now, although it's my last night in the Airbnb, I still haven't done a tour, so I don't know whether to do an Airbnb tour. So, if you are watching this and and I decided to do a Airbnb tour, then you probably know before me. So it goes on quite nice actually, it's a bit matte, it's not like satin or like shiny glossy, it is like a matte foundation. It is a bit too light for me at the moment but as I say it does oxidise, which it does oxidise a nice colour, so I don't know why I'm complaining about that. So yeah, what do you think? It's not full coverage. I could do like another layer if I wanted to, but I don't. So it is really warm in here. I do apologise. Uh, I had to shut the window because I did attempt to like film this video quite a few times. And let's just say the street I'm on, there's a couple of bad mouthed people out there. So I think I would have had to bleep half the video out. So I started again. With the window closed, right, now the foundation is on, I am going to set it a bit with the CYO Fixing Powder all set. Now this is clear, uh, they didn't have many shades, they only had this one powder to be honest. So I don't tend to go heavy with the bake, I just like to go under my eyes to brighten it a bit. They did have a concealer, but oh my god, rubbish! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's attractive. 
Uh, yes, they did have a concealer, but I, I wasn't going to get my words out. I wasn't prepared to waste my money because the formula was disgusting. The colours was minimal. Uh, so, get any off my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with eyeshadow. Now, the single eyeshadow, I ended up having to buy single eyeshadows because I weren't going to buy the palettes because the palettes do not match the lipsticks. So, that is my one complaint. I was shocked. It was, no. Nah. So, like, I've got, like, a brown matte, which I'm going to go with, like, a natural, everyday, subtle look. And if you know me, that's not me. So... Ooh, that goes on quite nice, actually. Oh, I like these. Yeah, that goes on really nice. It blends perfectly, just the way you like. Oh, I do like that. What do you think? Now onto the other eye. This one seems to be a bit, a bit harder. A bit more. Oh, I really like that. I'm not one for like. Uh, nudes and sort of thing, but is it even? <laughs> um, I do like that. So I can't get this one to match this one. Oh, this is annoying. I want them like twins, not sisters. Right, that would do. So, as I've only just put one colour on, I'm going to go in to dust my face off. And let's see. Mm, not a fan of it, to be honest. I don't see any... Actually, yeah, I suppose it's uh, took some shine away. <laughs> uh, so, yes, now I am going to go in with another colour for the eyes. Now, I bought these metallic eyeshadow singles. This is a, called Crush on Metal. And look at that. That is just a lovely colour. Actually, I'm going to do it on this hand. You see? How nice is that? I love it. So, they had so many of these nice colours, like in the crushed metal. I don't know if they were called crushed metal, but... Hey ho. And then I'm gonna, just going to go in with the corner of these, to highlight the inner corner. Can you see anything? Oh yeah, I can see it. <laughs> if you go really close, you have to layer it up a bit. I do like this though. Although you have to put a couple of layers on. Uh, it may work better if you've got like, setting spray or like, wet in the brush a bit. So, now I'm going to go in with the mascara. Now, this mascara is called Curl Mascara on, on a Roll. They had quite a large selection of uh, mascaras, to be honest. They had about five, six different ones. Um, oh, that's the brush. So, I do apologise that my mirror's here and not there. But, quite frankly, I didn't design this room. So, if you have any issues with that, take it up with the Airbnb.
Any difference? I think that's just making it black, to be honest. I do want to find the perfect mascara. I'd love to apply lashes as well, but I can't do lashes. So, they are the lashes. 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 They are the lashes. <laughs> I'm a bit crazy, have you noticed? So, now the eyes are complete. What do you think? Now, do I like them? I do actually. I do like that brown now. I love it. So, I'm just going to get any excess off. Uh, what next? What next? What next? I'm going to do my lips. No, I'm not. I'm going to do my cheeks. So, I'm going to go in with a bit of bronzer. Now, this is a trio because I weren't going to buy three different ones. These are meant to be highlighters, but they do nothing. So, one, two, three. Get rid of that one. See? It's just Barely there. Uh, so, I'm going to go in with a brush. Get a bit of brown on my face. Good luck there, Matthew. Is there anything showing? Okay, that's just not, nothing's happening. So, what I'm going to do now is to add a bit of, like, highlighter. I didn't buy, they have some sticks, but they didn't have no pan highlighters, which I'm not a fan of the sticks. I will use sticks, but I wasn't going to buy another stick because, yeah. So, I'm going to go and use the eyeshadow. So, what I'm going to do is get a brush, just do a bit Can you see? It's, it's only subtle, but then I'm going to make it a bit darker and then so it doesn't look like I've been punched in the face twice, I'm going to go in with a the uh, oh my god I'm covered in setting powder, uh, the lighter shade in this and then just Oh, that's pretty. I didn't expect that to work, but I do. Oh, I do like that. Then it's the final, which is lips. Now, for the lips, I had to settle with a duo, which is a lipstick and lip liner uh, in the shade. I don't know the shade. I think it's like called Don't Rain On My Parade or something like that. Now, that's the, the lipstick on the end, and then you turn it round and you've got a lipstick, a uh, lip liner. And we'll just see how chunky that is. That is one thick baby. So, line my lips. I do apologise on how scruffy my beard looks. I packed half of my well, packed my life away in the storage unit and including my beard trimmers, so I'm gonna be looking like this for about a week until I can actually get to my uh, beard trimmers. So lips are lined. Now, this is more of a gloss, it's like a satin gloss. Goes on really nice. And there you go. Uh, am I missing anything? Uh, I think I need to wipe down my brows, so I'm going to get my brush and some of this.
which picks up, like the powder dough would pick up any liquid on my bowls. And there we are. What do you think? Now let's do it slow motion. Did that work? I admit I was close. <laughs> So yeah, that is my full face of makeup using CYO exclusively to boots. Um, now my thoughts. This I don't think I'd use again, although it was soft. This is the primer. I don't tend to use primer. And if I do, I tend to use like a silicone based one. And that was like quite watery soft. Then foundation, I would I... I would use it again, but not at a first grab, maybe the fifth or sixth grab. <laughs> uh, eyes, I would definitely use these again. I do love my eyes. They are probably the best out, out of everything. Uh, this, I would definitely, well, I would use again, but I'm not, te I don't tend to wear like nudie shades. I tend to like wear, wow, look at that lips. And that doesn't say, wow, look at those lips. So, I would use it again, good, uh, good formula, I'm not knocking it, I'm just knocking the colour. But CYO, bring out some better colours for the lips and eyeshadows please. Uh, the bronzing trio, bronzing and illuminating compact, the radiant one, it's not very radiant. So I wouldn't use that again. And the setting powder, it was okay, it done its job I think. Uh, that was everything on the mascara. Did that actually do anything? It turned on black, so didn't curl them. Uh, so yes, uh, that is the video complete. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, and leave me comments on your favourite products. And if you've tried any of them in, in the past, let me know your thoughts down below. So it's a goodbye from me, Matt, and a goodbye from Rainbow Soul. Stay sassy.